Your shoes are the foundation of your outfit. Having a great pair of dress shoes powerfully increases your style. However, it's important to ensure comfort and function aren't overlooked when shopping for shoes. Poor fitting dress shoes are painful and can cause problems like blisters and back pain. Guys, it doesn't matter how good they look. Like all items of clothing, fit is king. So are you wearing the right size dress shoes for you? In today's video, gents, we're gonna cover exactly how your dress shoes should fit. A great place to start is with the Brannock device. Designed in 1927, this device tells you what shoe size you need by measuring the length of your foot from heel to toe, the length of your arch, and the width of your foot. Place the heel of your foot against the back of the device and look straight down over your longest toe to see the measurement. This number marks the total length of your foot. Next, slide the pointer to the ball joint of your foot. This number will give you your arch measurement. So now you have the numbers from the two measurements you just took. Whichever number is bigger will be your shoe size. Now it's time to measure your foot width. Slide the width bar to the side of your foot and make note of the corresponding letter. A, B, and C are narrow widths. D is considered average. E, double E, and triple E are considered wide. Now that you have your foot measurements, you have a great place to start. However, understand that sizing and widths vary across the brands. The reason is because each brand has their own shoe last. A shoe last is a wooden mold which the shoe is formed around. Now, because each brand has their unique shape, their unique last to their shoes, you're gonna find that there is variation across the brands. So the most important way to know if a shoe truly fits is to try it on. I know, Captain Obvious here, but guys, you need to know what to look for when you're trying on your shoes. Now, first off, when putting on a dress shoe, always use a shoehorn. Failure to do so over time can damage the back heel of the shoe. Now let's look at the areas that you need to pay attention to when you're trying on a pair of shoes. The ball of your foot should sit comfortably in the widest part of the shoe. This is called the shoe box. It should grip closely around your foot, but not too tight. You want it to be just right. When it comes to the length, understand that your mama's rule of pushing to see where your toe is doesn't really matter. It's all about the fit in the shoe box. Now, you wanna have plenty of room for your toes. You don't want them to be crushed up, but understand that different shoes have different shapes. Some are intended to be longer, some have a pointed end. Just make sure that your toes aren't touching the end of the shoe and you'll be fine. Finally, check the heel of the shoe. Your heel should not be slipping around. If the back of the shoe is riding up and down when you walk, you'll need either a smaller size or to go with a different brand. Now I need to point out this rule really applies to laced shoes and boots. If you're buying a pair of slip-on Chelsea's or you're getting a pair of loafers, understand you can have a little bit more play back there in the heel. It's also very important to walk around. Merely sitting or standing in the shoes isn't enough to get proper feel for the fit. Lastly, make sure there isn't any pain or chafing when you walk. That usually indicates the shoe is too small in length or width and your feet should not be sliding around inside because this means the size is too large. All right guys, here are a few pro tips. Tip one, only walk on carpet when trying on leather sole dress shoes. If you walk on hardwood or concrete, you're gonna scuff the bottom of the leather soles and they're gonna be unreturnable. Tip two, try on your shoes later in the afternoon or evening. Your feet, they're gonna be a little bit more swollen as the day has gone on and you're gonna find the right fit that's gonna be comfortable all day. Tip three, one of your feet may actually be slightly larger than the other. In this case, make sure to go with a slightly larger size. All right, gents, that's it. No excuses now for wearing the wrong size shoes. Check out the detailed support article over at realmenrealstyle.com.